Hello friends, Yossi here. Today we're going to review 12 new Toronto pre-construction listings. Okay, you ready? Let's go. All right, first of all, welcome to our new site, investtoronto.ca. That is invest-toronto.ca. And this site is run by myself and my colleague, Antonina. You can see right here, you can contact either of us for any of the properties on this site. Okay, you can also use the contact page right here and you can get our contact address or send an email, no problem. All right. I want to show you the 12 newest pre-construction developments in Toronto right now, okay? We're going to start with Celeste right here at 125 George Street. See, it says the occupancy 2026. It's always a good idea to add a little bit uh, to the occupancy. Um, nonetheless, let's load Celeste, and I'll show you what it's all about, and we cover uh, a few of these properties. Okay, downtown Toronto, Celeste, it's coming at 125 George. It's a lovely project. So this will be east of Young, okay, close to the Globe and Mail building. Okay, it's a large project. It's a beautiful project. Uh, very downtown, okay, St. James Park, Bursey Park. Uh, it's going to have 40 stories, 516 units, okay, and it's by Diamond Court and Altura. I couldn't ask for a better developer. Uh, that was Celeste. The next one is Groove. Groove Condos in Vaughan by Block Development. They're coming up. Uh, it's a really nice looking building. Okay, it is very groovy. Jazzy. Okay, there's one building here. And <clears throat> it's going to have 15 stories and 152 units. So it's a smaller uh, building. Um, boutique building, really 152 units. So that's really nice if you like something more unique. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say secluded, but definitely not as busy as some other giant buildings, okay? Very good option. I love the design. Uh, the next one is the Narrative. The Narrative, that's in Kingston Road, Scarborough. That's a very nice project. That may give you um, <clears throat> some good options for investors. Okay, 11 stories, 422 units. So it's more of a wide uh, building by Crown Communities. You can see here, it's, it's quite nice. Okay, that's a Narrative. The next one is 699, 699, 699 Shepherd Avenue East. Okay, also very interesting. I like the architecture. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. And I found throughout my years in real estate that when you have nice architecture and interesting design and useful design, values always go up and stay up because people like to live in interesting places, but also places that make sense to live. That's a 12-story, 174 units, so also a boutique size building. Uh, these buildings tend to be really nice, and they have a lot of good community. So definitely take a look at this one. Um, any information you need, please contact uh, myself or Antonina, and we'll give you all the info you want. Okay. Uh, the Garden Series 2. That's uh, even further out on Shepherd Avenue East, and that entire area is really coming up, okay? It's really coming up, uh, so pay attention to this to this area, especially with all the new lines coming in. Um, that's a smaller building, ten stories and ninety six units only. Okay. Okay, Richmond Hill High Point. Okay, so that that's that's a bit of more of a traditional design, kind of a long. Okay, uh, it says here there's eighty eight units. Okay, so there's 88 units here, and it's more of a townhouse situation. Okay, more of a townhouse situation. Um, usually townhouses will have a lower floor unit and a middle floor unit, and then the top two or three units will be one unit. But uh, the size is 1072 to 1512, so probably larger units in this building, maybe even the whole stack. If you want the floor plans, let me know. I'll get them for you. Or check here when they're available. Uh, the next one is East Point. East Point, uh, that's also Scarborough, okay, 4569 Kingston Road. So a lot of buildings are coming to that area, a lot of buildings, um, 11 stories, 104 units. This is probably going to be slightly uh, more affordable building, okay. Give you a couple more. Uh, the McGibbon, McGibbon in Georgetown. This is really lovely, um, <clears throat> quite boutique. Very nice. Uh, you can see they go, they're going for style here. They're going for nice design. And that's 10 stories with 169 units. Okay, that's in Georgetown.
the Frederick, I'll show you two, two more. Uh, that's, that's really nice. Um, 939 Eglinton Avenue East. Uh, new condo by Cam Ross Fell Corp. They're everywhere. Pre-construction 939 uh, Eglinton Avenue East from the 500s, total of 322 units, 30 stories. Okay. See these buildings average about 10, average 10 units per floor. Okay. The Lakeview DXE Club uh, on Lakeshore. Now pay attention here. This is a part of the giant van dyke community that is being created i absolutely love what these guys are doing i think they are masters at master planning okay so uh i'm really excited about this development and whatever comes out of this company uh is very very good pay attention 12 stories 397 units very good okay if, if you towards the west end Take a look at this one. Uh, myself or Antonina will give you the info. Uh, two more. Plaza on Young. That's up at 5858 uh, Young. So that's North York. Okay. And that would be 32 stories and 407 units. Beautiful building. But there's a lot of stuff happening at North York. It's quite busy if you go there. And I do um, quite often, actually. Uh, there's a lot of buildings there. And there's... there's quite a bit of traffic, human traffic, car traffic, people walking, stuff to do, um, very clean kind of living in that area. Okay, uh, the last one for today would be Duo, actually maybe two more. Duo, that's in Brampton. Uh, Brampton is hot cakes. Okay, everyone wants to be in Brampton. I get a lot of calls, you have an assignment in Brampton, all that stuff, oh, I just spoke. Okay, it's still going. Yeah. Okay, so that's Duo. And the last one is Tech, which is in Kitchener. Uh, in eight developments, 44 stories, 532. This guy's been a lot of work in the area. So pay attention if you're looking for something closer to the Kitchener Waterloo High Tech Hub. Thank you very much. This is Yossi with investtoronto.ca please contact myself or my colleague antonina with any questions any information you need in regarding to buying selling assigning leasing or flipping your condos all the best